This is BBC World News. I'm Matthew Amrelly Waller. On today's Global, the World Health Organization warns of a toxic mix of low vaccine coverage and low testing, creating a fertile breeding ground for new COVID variants. New travel guidance has come in in Europe, the US, Japan and parts of Africa because of the new variant. The EU chief, Ursula von der Leyen, says it's time for member states to consider mandatory vaccinations. So we are in kind of a tug of war. On the one hand, you have the virus and the variants. And on the other hand, we have vaccination and boosters. And I want the second part to win. We'll speak live to the director of the European Centre for Disease Prevention and Control. Later in the programme, a defining moment for abortion rights in the United States as the Supreme Court prepares to hear the most important case in a generation. I'm Barbara Platt Usher in Washington, D.C., where the Supreme Court is hearing the most significant challenge to abortion rights in a generation. And the U.S. warns Russia over the buildup of troops on Ukraine's border, a warning echoed by NATO. NATO allies have demonstrated that we uh, actually can impose heavy costs on Russia when they violate international law and invade another country. Hello and welcome to today's Global. In the last few minutes, the World Health Organization has warned of a toxic mix of low vaccination coverage and low testing rates. They say it creates a fertile breeding ground for new COVID variants. With the new high transmissible Omicron variant causing concern around the world, the WHO has been holding a media conference in the last hour. Another